there's my image and then I'm going to click OK and should come up here so there is my it's labeled tiles there's my thing now you can't really see the white uh, graph but you can sort of make it out on this one it shows you the separate tiles so this shape took up many different tiles so as you can see it's broken down into whatever it is nine different tiles these ones are individual tiles and I can go ahead and start drawing with them so let's do that I'm gonna shoot this over shoot this over here and I'm going to um, use my icons on the side to start drawing so let's go through those um, paint uh, this paint <coughs> is simply just a, um, a pencil that's for inserting one tile at a time uh, into one square at a time the eraser is for erasing one tile or square at a time the bucket is for um, filling in a, the entire area with one particular tile so it would copy that tile into every single square and um, the rest of the tools I don't really use, you don't really need them that much, these are the three main ones <clears throat> you have your zoom and um, that's about it, so that's all we really need to know so I'm just going to create this I'll give it uh, my layer name so back whoops so I was on the fill tool there as you can tell so I'm just going to go through, select my red box fill that in my black box fill that over here put some of my circles in and then I'll use my large shape so to do them all I just sort of drag and select all the um, tiles that I want when I bring it in here it has that whole object so there I plop it there, plop it there plop it there Okay. so there you go that's as easy as, as it is to open start your own tiled, uh, tile map in the tiled program that's creating a, um, a tile sheet within Photoshop, importing it into the tiled map that you're creating, and then utilizing the tools here to place it within your tile, within your map. Okay. Um, let's look at one more thing. Uh, I'm over 20 minutes. All right, this is gonna be probably three videos, so sorry about that, guys, but uh, it does take a little bit to describe this. So um, what I wanted to show you before I leave you today is how easy this is to now update. So let's go back into our Photoshop file and let's say that I want to add um, a smaller one of those polygons and then change it to uh, blue. So I'm going to add that right here. Um, oops, I want that on a new layer. So let's go new layer there. Okay, let's make sure that we're not really overlapping. It's got its own four tiles. So there's that. And let's say, look, I don't want two reds here, so I want my circles to be, which I can't do because I screwed that up. Um, yeah, let's say we're going to make all of these. I put these on the same layer. So let's say we're going to make all of these um, a different color. So we're going to do like a cover, color overlay on those and switch them all to, say, a purple. So there, I went through and I've updated my graphics for my game, right? I've updated some of the, maybe I've changed the shape of something, I've added a tile, I've changed the color of something, right? So all I do from here is I just file, save it for the image, save my PNG, and I'm going to go in, it's in resources, so I'm just going to save, and it's asking me if I want to replace my existing tile map, I say replace. And this is the, the great part of doing this, is we'll go back into Tiled, and I will go Tile, Reset, and it should reset everything. So there you see that's all reset. And for some reason, that is not working, which is very weird. Um, let's see here. File, save, file, close, file, open. Okay, sorry. I don't know why it did that, but um, I guess I had to reopen it. It would have it would have upgraded it to the to the game no matter what. It would have saved it, and we would have had the right tiles in the game. But what I was illustrating there is when I 
when I reset my tile map up here, uh, or sorry, refresh the tile set, it goes back in, grabs, it sees if there's any differences, and it updates this image. And then all the tiles on your tile map get updated as well. So as you can see, this blue square we, we did, we can now have that one in there. Um, all of the ones that were black and red, I switched to purple in my image. So then on my tile map, they all switched to purple. So without having to undo, erase, or, or um, swap out images in my tile map, all I have to do is go into Photoshop, update the image that I want to upgrade to maybe a better looking image or different colors. And um, when I save that to the resources folder, my tile map gets automatically updated as well. So it's great, great to do that way. So it's really easy to use both these tools, Photoshop and Tile together, and then we'll talk about how to implement that in your code, and that's just as simple. All right, so hopefully that helped you out for the first installment of using Tiled and the Tile Map program. There's really not too much else to do from there. You can fool around with stuff, but that's pretty much all I've ever done. Um, uh, oh, well, I guess I'll show you this since we might have a few minutes. Um, layers, so we'll just create the other layer here. Oh, created two there. So I got layer one, so I'll call this one upper. And then move like that. And now if I say took this purple circle, I could stick it right there. And now it's overlapping the lower layer. I can turn it on and off my layer by simply clicking the checkbox. I can change the opacity of that layer. So if you notice my circle is changing from, from uh, solid to transparent and then nothing. So it helps me out. And um, I can turn the back one off and all I'm left with is that upper layer. Okay. So some really good features we have here. Like I said, not much to it other than that. Make sure you only use one tile set um, image to do all your tiles. Use Photoshop to do that, setting up a grid for your tile spacing at 32 by 32. Um, and have fun with it. Come up with some neat little uh, maps, neat patterns to create your uh, levels with. Okay, let's save up here and we're done. And Got, I got a couple more minutes. One more thing I'll show you, and I promise that's it. Another cool feature of this is um, saving as an image. So if I just save it, what it's doing is saving as sort of an XML file, uh, an XML uh, type of file where it's it's actually a TMX file, where it breaks out and it says what each tile is, the tile ID, and where it goes within the tile map, right? So. Having that file um, isn't really good for uh, visualizing what the map is going to look like, look like, say for putting it into Photoshop or sending it to somebody. So what you can do is save as an image, and it just takes that tile map that you're creating with all these different grids and creates an, uh, one solid image out of it, and um, you can use that to send to people or use for other references. So if I just hit save as image, I get a few choices here. Main ones are like JPEG and PNG or your main ones. So you'd save as that, and uh, you have a nice little image for your entire map, and it's a pretty neat tool and pretty neat way of saving the level that way. Okay, so anyways, that's the first installment. The next time I'll talk about um, tile maps is when we put it into code, and um, there's one other tool with this program that I'll talk about is which is objects, and that's going to be good for when we use code to place um, certain things like the player position or maybe we're using it for box 2D and we want to have a box 2D body created at a certain position. We can use objects to do that, to do that. and I'll talk about that in another day. All right, so hopefully that helped you out for the very beginning stages of using Tiled, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.